name is Nico Antuna Cooper. I'm an artist here at Casa Ortiz. Um, I do visual art, music, poetry, a little bit of everything. All right. How long have you been doing art for? So um, I've been playing music for about half my life. I'm 28 now, so when I was 14, I started doing music. Uh, from music, I got into uh, kind of digital design because, you know, for my bands, I had to design artwork or t-shirts or posters. And I realized I really liked design. So from there, I got more into using visual media to design things. And then maybe in my mid-20s, maybe about five years ago, I got into painting uh, in real life, mainly abstract. And um, I also started doing, uh, getting, getting more serious about writing. So I'm also a writer. That's what I got my master's in was creative writing. Okay. And um, did you get your master's or did you work on your master's here in El Paso? Yes, I did. I, I got my master's here at UTEP in the bilingual okay. creative writing program. Okay. Yeah. And you're born and raised, I would assume? I'm born and raised in El Paso. I've lived some other places, but yeah, I was born and raised here. Okay. So what do we have going on today here? So we have a, a group show. Um, here at Casa Ortiz, we have five resident artists. So each one of us has an individual room. We have our studio, we put up our art, and then we have a, a, a gallery. So we feature different artists. Today we have a, a variety of really great artists, including one artist that was one of my uh, teachers at one point. And um, we got a really good show going on. So this is for First Fridays. Every first Friday of the month, we're going to be trying to do a show. And uh, we're just going to try to keep bringing in cool art here all the time. Is it always at the same location or is that different locations sometimes? Always here. Oh, um, always here? So we're hosting a lot of the events here at Casa Ortiz. Pretty much two Fridays a month we're here, and two Saturdays we have a, a farmer's market slash art market here as well. And sometimes we have uh, events that aren't those. So uh, this is uh, definitely a place where we host a lot of events. Okay. Yeah. So what 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 inspires you after all these years? So I, so you said painting. You got in painting within five years ago. Yeah. About five years ago, and then you used to do writing as well. Yes. Right. So what inspires you to to kind of go this route with your life? Um, that's a good question. Um, I always, you know, growing up, I always wanted to be a rock star. So I just saw rock stars on TV. I remember seeing Bono in a commercial, and I was like, dude, I want to do that. I want to do that. So I started doing music. And from there, you know, I'm a very DIY person, do it yourself. So just everything that I had to do, you know, I had to learn how to become very entrepreneurial. I had to learn how to do sales. I had to sell my band to people. Um, I had to learn how to make things with my hands. I had to learn the computer, to how to use the computer to make things. And so, Really, I started looking at myself as more of a creator than anything else. And uh, all of these different things I do are just different manifestations of that creativity. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, well, uh, do you mind if you uh, show us around your, your gallery? Yeah, yeah. So, if you want to go ahead yeah. and check it out. Yes, go. So, here we're, on the, we're in the, uh, the patio. Uh, we're setting up. People are getting here. We got a class for the guitar player out here. Yeah. Big supporters of the, of the arts and music also. Um, yeah, we're out here in Socorro. So this building is from the 1700s. It's very old. So uh, it's kind of an honor to be in a, a building this historical. You're doing something really cool in it. So over here, uh, this is my studio. Uh, and I got a variety of different things in here. I got some abstract paintings. Uh, I've got some skateboards over here, as well as prints, books, you name it. So, this is a little bit of a taste of different things that I do. We were talking about 210 coffee roasters. They're about to open up a new location. Yeah. And this painting is for the new location, so that's gonna be- Oh, really? Yeah, wow, nice. Yeah. So, so with a piece like this, with uh -huh. this large, yeah. um, uh, how long how long does it take for you to complete something like this like from the thought yeah all, all the way to the end of product uh, it depends um, for something this abstract I like to do it all in one day okay. so I these two pieces I did out here at Casa Ortiz in the dirt behind the building and you know I just went crazy and I was throwing paint mixing water doing all sorts of stuff and so for me this was uh, one day's work you know, okay so, so all okay. day I spent it for, uh, doing this other um, other paintings like this one take a little bit more time because there's some figurative element there. Okay. So uh, you can see in the background there's some more abstract parts. Yeah. I might paint this layer one day, this layer another day, and then make these layers out of a stencil another day. Okay, so it ends up to be a process rather than something that you can just um, 
kind of not really run through, but you already have a visualization of what that looks like. Yeah. And then you kind of just hit it real hard. Yeah. For a whole day, and then that, and then and call it the day. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Gotcha. Like for this, you know, for this one, this is one that I actually planned ahead of time. I saw the um, the uh, the uh, loteria card for El Alacran. Mm -hmm. and I saw it at a bar, and I was like, that would be cool if I did my own version of that. So this one I, I planned. I'm gonna make it a red stencil. And then I ended up adding these elements also after the fact. So this one was pretty well planned out. All right, is there uh, is there like a favorite that, that you have? Piece. Like, is is there a favorite um, I mean, piece that you have right now? I really like this one. I mean, this is one I just did most recently, okay. so maybe that's why it's my favorite. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a yeah, huge scale. It's four feet, uh, or five feet by four feet. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, once I start working at these big scales, you know, I feel like I have a little bit more freedom to make mm -hmm. bigger gestures. And so I'm very happy with this one. Uh, I love all these pieces, but these are my favorite right now. Would you like a larger size piece to work with? Or, or, uh, or do I you like do, to create the smaller size? I could do too? both, but I can have a lot of fun with the big pieces. Okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay. What, what's the story behind this one, Brian? Well, actually, yeah. uh, so, they're, they're and you said you had some skateboards back yeah. here? Yeah, so I did these piece. with my friend. He has a skateboard company called Smells Like Fish Coat. And um, we collaborated on this. So you can see some of his work on here, some of his cartoon pop art element and then some of my art element also. And then you have some cards here for sale or? Yeah, some prints. So those are some of my poetry books as well as some prints right there. Yep. Um, so yeah, so I have a little bit of other merchandise as well. I got t-shirts, smaller things. So in addition to the big pieces, I got small pieces for people also. So something for for everybody as far as price range, right? Exactly, right. All right, yeah, that's From awesome. $10 to $100 to $1,000. I got, I got something for every budget. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for showing us around. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, please come to Casa Ortiz one of these days and uh, keep, keep riding on.